Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you how to update your iOS device to iOS 9 and this will work with the iPad, iPod Touch and the iPhone. Now I'm going to be showing you how to do this through iTunes. If you'd like to check out the over the air feature, there's a video in the description down below. You can check that out and try to install it through the phone or the device itself. Now for those of you who haven't prepared your device yet for iOS 9, this video right here will take you through the process of backing up your device, saving your photos, and ensuring that you don't lose your contacts and valuable information in the process. Once you've done that, return to this video and we'll get started with the iOS 9 update. Now assuming you did go through the preparation video and you've backed up your device and everything's ready to go, you can install iOS 9. So with the iTunes method, the first thing you need to do is plug up your device either using the lightning cable or the 30 pin cable and you want to connect the other end to your computer. Once you've connected your device to iTunes, iTunes should automatically open up. If it doesn't, go ahead and find it, open it on your computer. If you don't have it, download it at apple.com slash iTunes and it's free and it works for Windows and Mac. Once you've done that, open iTunes and you wanna make sure you click here where it says iPad, iPod Touch, or iPhone, and it'll take you to this page. From here, this will probably say check for update. What you wanna do is click on that and then you can click on download and update. For now, I'm just gonna hit on update here. It's gonna tell me that some of the items I've purchased on the iPad have not been transferred to my iTunes library, so I'll go ahead and click continue to that because I'm fine with that. Again, if you haven't backed up your device, do it because this is your last chance. If anything goes wrong, you're going to lose your stuff. So we'll go ahead and click on update. We've got a little box here. We'll just scroll down and click next. We'll go ahead and scroll down and click agree. It's going to ask you to enter in your passcode, so we'll go ahead and do that. From this page, it's going to download the software and update it, and it'll install it when it's completed. You can check on the download at the top right. There's an arrow here, and you can see how much time is remaining and how large the file is. So you want to be patient and just let it do its thing. Once it's done, it's going to prepare the update in the software. You can see it's backing up my iPad for me. And now you can see on the actual iPad itself, it's now turned black, it's going to turn off, and this is gonna go through a process of turning off, turning on, it may happen a few times, and on screen, just follow what it says up top, like it says waiting for iPad. Now this shouldn't be too bad, considering that iOS 9 is smaller than iOS 8. So again, just be patient with the process. You can see there's a bar here, it's a sideways, but the bar has to fill up, and this may take some time. Now the whole download process for me, took about 15 minutes. Now on screen, iTunes has disconnected from the iPad and you can see the iPad itself is now updating on its own. It's got that little bar, which is very hard for you guys to see on camera, but there is a little bar here. And basically when that fills up, it should restart again and it should complete the update. So it's starting for the first time here. Now we'll go ahead and just enter in our password and we should have iOS 9, update completed, tap continue. You gotta go through this whole process again. I'll just enable it for now. It'll ask you for your password, and now we can get started here. And you can see this is iOS 9. We'll go into the settings here quickly. We'll tap on general, we'll hit on software update once again, and you can see iOS 9.0. Anyway guys, this is how you update your iOS device to iOS 9 using the iTunes method. If for some reason that didn't work, you can always try to use the over air method. There's a link in the description with a full tutorial on how to use that and update it through the Wi-Fi connection on your device. If you ran into any troubles, feel free to ask in the comment box down below. Hopefully it all worked out well for you. If it did, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and definitely return for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.